Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about upright and inverted elevator. So the elevator is a high alpha descent from up high down to a height that you want it to be. So that was an upright one, inverted from up high to the height that you want to exit at. Okay, so I think this is a nice one to start off with, a good initial 3D move. And once you've got the hang of it, you can use it when you get more proficient, no problem. And I always think it's a good one to do, particularly if you're trying to learn how to do upright Harrier and inverted Harrier high alpha flight. Because during an elevator, you're applying similar controls, but you haven't got to worry about playing with the throttle as much as if you're flying Harrier flight. Okay, so your model needs to have 3D rates, switchable on your transmitter, so a lot of movement on your elevator, aileron and rudder. Okay, so the way you do it, you want to start doing them into wind. So in this case, it's going to be right to left. So start up high, flip to 3D rates, ease off your throttle, start applying up elevator to keep the nose up. And then you'll get to a point where the model has stopped, you're holding full up elevator and your throttle will be at idle, high alpha like this. The model will then descend down and then when you're at a comfortable height, 20 or 30 feet, ease off the elevator, open the throttle, fly away. Okay, so on the way down, there might be some wing rock, the yaw might change, and there's a good time to start playing with your aileron and rudder to keep it the way you want it. But you won't have to be worrying about using throttle as well. So, and it's coming down, aileron corrections, yaw corrections, safe height, ease off elevator, open throttle, fly away. Okay. So inverted elevator can be a bit more stable because the fin is on the underside and it's in clean air. All right, Edges, planes like that, they're really stable in this sort of manoeuvre with a straight leading edge. And this if you've got your SFGs attached to the wingtips. So inverted elevator. Start into wind, flip to your 3D rates, ease off throttle, Start applying more and more down until you hold him full down. Throttles are idle. The plane will come to a standstill, high alpha, it will descend down, safe height, ease off the elevator, open the throttle, fly away. Okay, it's the same thing. As it's descending down, if the wings are rocking a bit, correct with aileron, correct your yaw with rudder, and that's why it's good for practicing Harrier, because you're, you're using the similar controls, but you're not having to worry about throttle input. Okay, so when there's not much wind, and if your idle's a bit high, the elevator might have a more gentle angled descent. Okay, and if there's more wind, and your idle's quite low, the descent can be really vertical, or sometimes I've seen them go backwards. Looks cool. Anyway, safe height, exit, ease off elevator, open the throttle, fly away. All right. So I hope you enjoyed my short video on upright and inverted elevators. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.